So, Steve, this is a video especially for you. It's a message specially to you. I'm going to make an effort not to swear because I don't want this to be an age restricted video. I'm also going to be careful to stay within the law with what I have to say. One thing I need to make very clear, of course, is that um, the question, I've got to anticipate the question, which Steve am I talking about? Because I'm sure there are lots of guys called Steve who watch my video. I mean, one immediately springs to mind. This is Steve071 who regularly comments on my videos. So I need to make it clear which Steve I'm talking about. Um, I think in the course of this video, I, I can't identify the Steve I'm talking about for legal reasons. But uh, during the course of this video, I think if you are not the Steve I mean, you will pretty soon realise that it's not you I'm talking about. And if you are the Steve that I'm talking about, you will also realise that it is you I'm addressing. So Steve, um, I understand you're watching my videos. Uh, our mutual friend, um, who again, I've got, to be, I've got to avoid names here. Our mutual friend whose name begins with H has told me that you're watching my videos. In which case, there's something I'd like to say to you. You and I have not met for a very, very long time. In fact, the last time we met, I was a teenager. I think I was about 16 years old, maybe 17. I was a teenager. I was a vulnerable, emotionally damaged teenager. And you, um, when you came into the house, you 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 came for me. You came for me. You saw me, and you sussed me out. You looked at me. You examined me, and you quickly worked out where my insecurities were and where my Achilles heels were, so to speak. And you honed in on them, and you used them against me. You said things and acted in a way which played on those weaknesses of mine, those vulnerable spots of mine. And you did it and you knew you could get away with it and you did because I was such a, a frightened teenager. As you were a grown man and you were bigger than me, you were more sophisticated and so you did that. You did it because you enjoy it. You've done this to other people. I know what you've done to people. I know everyone I know who knows you tells me you do this to people. <clears throat> You're an emotional vampire. That's what you are. You like to upset people. You like to stir up trouble. You like to you like to wind them up with things. You you poke and prod them where you know it's going to hurt, and you get sustenance from their reaction, don't you? And you know you know you're the one of it's really weird, right? Because. A lot of kids get abused, a lot of kids and teenagers get abused, they get physically, sexually, emotionally abused by their parents or by family members. With me, it's not my family that did it, it's other people. My family have never abused me. My mum, my dad, people like that, they've never abused me. My, my grandfather did, but that's a, that's a story for another time. Um, the truth of the matter is that but three people have abused me as I was growing up, and all three of them are just friends of the family. Centaur. I mean, viewers, I'm addressing the regular viewers now. Check the links in the description box. Centaur. I've talked about before. There's a video all about Centaur in there. Um, and there's Isabel Menzies Live, founder of the Tavistock Institute. Check out... That is a name I'm going to mention because I mentioned it before. Check out uh, the Knox Menti interview. It's a link in the description box where I talk in detail about my interaction with Isabel Menzies Live. And um, I've, I've, done, I've talked about this in other videos, I can't remember which ones, but basically she's the founder of the Tavistock Institute. She came into, she, she, she turned my mother against me, and she used my mother as a weapon against me. Um, that's a long story, I've discussed it in another video. Steve, Steve's not a part of any psychological warfare outfit. Steve's not, <laughs> Steve's not interested in saying anything or doing anything to me, to, to make a serious point. He just says and does things which he knows I'm sensitive about, and he's watching my videos. He's watching my videos and he's looking through them. He's, he's probably reading the Hapanwo blog. He's getting all the information he can about me because he, he thinks it might be useful when he meets me again. Because he's going to try the same thing again when he, when, when he meets me again, like hell. 
He's not going to ming me again because after he's watched this video, he won't try. You see, Steve, I'm not a vulnerable teenager anymore. Look at me. Look at me, man. Look at me, you piece of shit. You, you're, you're an emotional abuser of vulnerable teenagers, you fucking bastard. I broke my promise there, I swore. And look at me, you know, if, if I know what you're trying to do. I know you've been in touch with my dad, don't you? And we both know what my dad is like. We both know that my dad would lower the drawbridge to Genghis Khan to avoid any hassle. And I know what you're trying to do, Steve. You're trying to get your feet back under his table, aren't you? That's what you're trying to do. And when you get, when you, once you've wormed your way into my dad's life, once you, you can start sucking from that waterhole, and you can move on to the rest of us. Well, I've got news for you, mate. You're not going to do anything of the sort. I'm not going to let you. Look at me. I'm a grown man. I'm not a little teenager anymore. I'm not a vulnerable, emotionally damaged teenager, you fucking cunt. I'm not. You piece of, you bastard. I don't understand why you psychos do this sort of thing. I really don't. You're not human. You're not, you're, honestly, you're, you're a reptilian or something like that. You're not human. You're an NPC. You're one of those things. I just, um, I want you to know that um, if this video is put on restrict, age restriction, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll re-upload it with the, with the swear word cut out. I'll do that. Okay. I didn't mean to swear there, but this, this man makes me so angry. Um, if you, what I'll do is when I next see you, I'll warn you. I'll warn you very loudly and extremely rudely that you better behave yourself. And I'll tell you what, I've told my dad I'm going to do this. He knows. Because you know it's only a matter of time. If you, if you once you're involved in, in my dad's life, you know it's only a matter of time before you come across me. And um, I've got a daughter. If you dare to come within a mile of her, you'll regret it. I, I will use... Any or any means left necessary within the law to protect my family from you. You understand me? I um I will I will do any I honestly look look you will not be coming near my family after you've watched this video, Steve. You know it and I know it. You're too fucking you're too fucking gutless. You like your victims young and defenceless, don't you? It's not like you've ever physically abused me. I mean, you're too scared to, to, to even to touch a child, aren't you? You're too gutless even to do that. I got a horrible feeling my dad probably wouldn't react if you did, just like he didn't react with Centaur. Anyway, um, you're not gonna, you're not coming in my family. That's basically what I'm saying. You're watching these videos to try and get information on us. And this is the only information you need to know. I mean, Steve, how old are you now? 65? 70? I don't know. But you're an old man. How do you think you're going you're gonna to fare when you go up against me? Probably about the same as I would if I went up against you when I was a kid. And you were a big guy. I'm bigger than you now. You, you, you're just scum. You're complete scum. Never come near my father again. Never come near my brother again. And never come. If, and as for as for my daughter Louisa, if you, if you contact her in any way, I'll be on the phone to the police and I'll tell them everything about you. And if you approach her, I will use lawful force to keep you from her. Okay, you know what that means. You, I'm not going to identify you, but I know you know about these things, okay? Just bear that in mind, motherfucker. Thank you very much.